here's an atrium update. Everything is looking good at the atrium and the indoor garden here. I started watering it and ever since I did that, I started watering it like two days ago, these things have like tripled in size. So it's kind of fun to have it grow. It's still not much going up here just because like I was saying in the previous video, you know, all the heat that comes down from the for front portion here, it just bakes everything down here and hardly anything can stay stay alive. But back here, man, it's really gone. I mean, look at, look at these right here. Those ones right there, look how tall they're getting. So it's kind of kind of nice to see some green in here. You know, it's done nothing but a snowy white abyss outside. Then you come in here and you see that. And it's kind of cool. All right, getting ready to call my my boss in Crested Butte that works for the town of Mount Crested Butte in the Parks and Rec Division, and tell him that I'm not coming back this summer. And, for some reason, I'm nervous. I've never, I haven't had to call in to a job. Let's see. Guys, that's since, since 2010. It's been a decade. I haven't had to call into a job and like and like resign in a decade. I haven't had a job in a decade. I've done. My, well, I mean, I did my own thing. I've had my own businesses, but um, I'm all nervous now. It's like my my stomach is in knots. <laughs> I can't believe this. This is funny. All right, let's give this guy a call. Hmm, I don't know if it's ringing or not. Oh, there it is. Shoot, I'm nervous. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Tim, hey, what's up, man? This is Brian Gallion. It is about uh, 1030 here on Friday. Hey, uh, hey, give me a call. I want to chat with you about uh, this coming summer. Uh, my circumstances have changed a little bit. So just give me a buzz and get a chance. Um, thanks. Bye. Tim, what's up? It's Brian. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. What's going on? Uh, been down in Sawatch County, kind of bouncing around here between here and New Mexico the last six weeks, and it's been mm -hmm. it, it's been awesome, man. I, I just I just haven't had a good snowstorm yet, though. I mean, I wanted like oh, yeah. that big one that came through. I was just on the southern tip of it like last week, and I got I got maybe four inches at camp. But I was hoping to get like a I was hoping to get like a two footer. I want to get snowed in at camp, but it hasn't happened yet this season. <laughs> so, but you know, as far as my situation goes, some things have developed over the past couple months with uh, with my outdoor career because you know I've been I've been really focusing on doing content for all these different companies and and uh, also yeah. also content on my own channels. And dude, it exploded. It started exploding in January and it's taken off so much now. I know I had said that I'd come back this summer, but I, I think I really need to take advantage of this opportunity and I, I apologize for the late notice. Uh, just get ready to try to get hold of you to find out. Okay, cool. I, 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 hoped I, I was hoping I wasn't too late to burn a bridge here because I don't want to burn your bridges with you guys. No, no bridges burned. Okay, cool, man. Well, I, sure. I'm going to be coming through uh, Crested Butte probably in the next month, so I, I'd like to stop by and say hello to everybody. Maybe I can come by over lunch or yeah. something. Yeah, give us a holler. We're in our new shop now. Oh, I'd love to come check it out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're usually in here around lunch, like you just said. So. Okay. Yep. Cool, man. Well, I'll give you a buzz. Like huh? I said, it'll be sometime in the next month I'll be in the area. Right on. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks, Tim. Right. See you, man. Bye. Thanks for calling. Bye. You bet. Bye. Ah, that went much better than I thought. Tim's a cool guy, so I look forward to seeing them and also checking out the new shop over at the town of Mount Crested Butte, the the Parks and Rec and and um, that that whole thing. So it'll be cool. So I feel a lot better. I was nervous about that because I didn't want to burn any bridges, but it went well. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Hope your weekend's starting out on a great note. Uh, I've been kind of bummed out lately. I, I've been uh, been kind of down and out. Haven't really been feeling that good. Been kind of not having very much energy, and I, I figured out what the problem was. I haven't been wearing my bucket head shirt enough. <laughs> I'm back in the saddle. So uh, I was going through my truck and I was like, I, you know, it's like when you winter camp like this, you typically only wear a couple of the same clothes over and over and then you just, you know, that way you can keep them clean and it's easy to manage and a bunch of laundry doesn't pile up. Well, my bucket head shirt wasn't in my rotation. And this is my shirt that like, this is a shirt that every girl 
you know, like like every girl out there, you know, your guy has like either that 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 sweatshirt that has holes in it, the, the sweatpants that have holes in it, or the shirt that has holes in it. And this shirt is so beat up. I've had it for like ten years. I love it. It's Buckethead's my favorite. I don't know. I don't know if y'all caught that video I did. A or it was like a mix a couple of months ago. But anyway, back to back to the video here. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna go through a, a, a walkthrough of my tent. Because what I've done is I've I've decked it out as if I'm going to be here for a week, uh, because I am. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm only going to be here for three days. I'm going to take off and then I'm going to head to another part of the valley for the re remainder of the week. And then after that, probably I don't know. I think I may go to Bears Ears because there's a really cool place to to camp out there. And if I could catch some snowstorms out there before the weather turns, it's already starting to get pretty nice out there. But there's a place that's a little bit higher elevation where I could go, which would be pretty sweet. But I don't know, I may just made a sticker on Colorado. I've only got about a month till the bears show up. So, uh, but anyway, so let's, 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 let's dive in here. What I've got is this, like I said, this is pretty much a setup of like, if I was going to be out here for a full on week, this is what is, is, uh, you know, would, would get me by. I've got plenty of wood. Now this is hardwood for those who are, un, are, are not aware. Hardwood doesn't grow in Colorado. You only get aspen and pine. And even pinyon pine, I mean, it's a little bit harder than the other pines, but it still is really, it burns really fast. And so everybody in the wintertime out here, you know, they pretty much go buy their firewoods so they can get hardwoods. And that's what I do. Another thing too is like, if you go chop down a tree, you need to wait for about a year for it to season before you can, before you can um, uh, burn it in your stove. It doesn't burn right away. So you can't just go out there and chop down wood and take it to your stove and burn it like it's, like you think it's going to um fire up because it won't and also you need a permit a lot of these areas are no cut areas so like the wilderness area back in there i could go back in there and cut i think i could go get firewood uh, but i have to use a handsaw in order to do it and a handsaw for all this wood is crazy i did that one set one winter where for part of the winter i i actually uh, chopped my own firewood and then used a chainsaw as well and man, I mean, it was crazy. Like, like the, the first part of, of the uh, winter, I just chopped wood with my with my outdoorsman axe, with this axe right here. And I mean, I, it was it was a great experience. But man, I mean, I'm, my arms were about ready to fall off after just the first day. I did that for two months, and then I switched over to a chainsaw because I was like, I'm not doing this. Like, I had t I had tendonitis, like like uh, tennis elbow, and what's the other one? There's like there's like two types of elbows on on your elbows to where it hurts real bad to use your hands. I got I developed that in both my hands, so that's why I go and buy firewood. So that's that's what I do. I'll go into Salida and or actually Poncha Springs. There's a wood broker there that I'll get, but that's enough wood for a solid week. And then I've also got some additional wood over here. These are kind of like like uh, rounds that have been chopped up a little bit. These will burn a lot longer. So those are kind of more of the evening time burns. So I, I like to separate out my wood. Uh, in, in the sense to say, okay, this is kind of more of the evening time hanging out, and then that's the night time for sleeping, and I can throw those on. And I've got enough there for, let's say, two, four, six, eight. Yeah, I've got enough there for a week, so that's good. Then I'll have my, my, my fridge out here. I moved it from outside of the interior of the tent out here. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. It just, at night, night I'll section off the, the, uh, the main portion here of the tent just so I don't have to heat that and not the exterior of the the vestibule here but the, the the fridge out here is fine i mean it works you know it's kind of nice it keeps it cold because the temperatures in the evening are below freezing so everything in there just stays cold you know i don't have to run it off my my battery and then um coming in here you know since i took that out it kind of freed up some room i used to have that sitting right there but this is kind of considered my pantry and so i'll have sierra's dog food some of my dry goods down here that i like to eat i like to do sweet potatoes with i, I get this wild planet sustainable um, tuna that's pole caught that's good stuff got some local honey from alamosa got coconut oil uh, always go through a ton of eggs i love fresh fresh eggs i like red beans and rice so i'm going to cook that up here soon and also have some organic um, uh, uh, oatmeal there and a backpacking meal i love these thai curry backpacking meals from the the um real food real adventure uh good to go backpacking meal company so I'll have that there. I have like just you know an extra pair of boots. I've got my my uh, propane grill back there in case if I don't want to use my wood stove. That's good for during the day because if it's hot or if it's a sunny day and you got a lot of passive solar coming into your into your tent, it could be really really warm in here. And the last thing you want to do is run your stove. And so you could take that, 
go outside, jam it out real quick, and bake whatever you need to bake, or cook whatever you need to cook up, and then come back in. So that that's why I have that. I don't I don't use it very often though. And main reason is I don't like expending all these little, little um, uh, propane canisters. I mean, once you're done with them, you toss them into the landfill, and it's kind of waste just to do a single use on it. I know they have refill canisters that you can do. You can get this little adapter to refill them, but I don't carry a 35 pound. Uh, propane canister with me to refill off of. Um, I'll have my backpack here, and that's all. That just has like just my personal hygiene stuff in there for showering and going to the spa or going to the hot springs and stuff like that. And then over here, this is kind of like the main area of the tent. Obviously, it's uh, I've got Sierra's bed right underneath there. I moved it. I used to have it way over here, but I moved it over here because at night I've been I've been sleeping like a rock lately, and so. Um, ever since I've been keeping real clean of this place, my allergies have been a lot better. And so at night, if I wake up and she's down there and like, say she shifted at night and the covers are off her and it's cold, I'll just pick her up and get her into bed with me right there. And she likes sleeping in bed with me anyway. So that's, that's, that's been kind of more of a regular occurrence. Uh, for my bed here, just to show you my bedding, I, I made sure that like I had really good stuff for sleeping. This is a, a negative 20 degree bag. It's a huge outfitters bag. It's from Cabela's. Uh, it's 40 inches wide. It weighs <laughs> weighs 15 pounds. It's kind of like a bedroll. If you take this whole thing and just roll it out, you could just sleep on top of it, and it's like a it's like a sleeping pad. But then underneath here, just to help out with allergies, I've got a little blanket to help lift my head up and kind of raise raise me up a little bit, just to help with congestion. Underneath that, I've got a four inch memory foam. Then underneath, underneath that, the reason why I put a smaller width. Uh, sleeping pad underneath here is the the cot has a tendency to bow down like this in the middle part and so you kind of sink just in the middle but if you put a sleeping pad in, underneath it it'll keep it consistently flat all the way across which is really nice so that's that's like a huge area like a big just chill platform for me because it's really comfortable here for me to hang out and uh what i'll do is i'll uh evening time when I'm getting dinner ready, Sierra will actually hop up here and kind of hang out. You may have noticed that in some of the past videos. That's what she does. Then I'll hang out over here and cook dinner. So let's go over to this this portion. I, I went ahead and I busted out the Cabela's uh, table here. This table is awesome. It's a little one that you have these straps. It folds up to like... Let's see, it's actually the size of this this little tote bag here. And it's really sturdy, I like this a lot. So I'll use this as kind of like my table next to where I sit. And I like to sit here at night next to the stove and just kind of chill out. I've got a little light up here from the Solar Home 620, so if I wanna read, I can just kick that on with the little clicker here. Read from camp, I'll be right next to the stove, so I'll be nice and warm. I can regulate the heat on either the damper for the airflow or the, the stove fan to see where the air is being kicked around. Then I can also cook. So like if I'm sitting right here, you know, it's no problem to reach over, grab whatever item I need. Oh, excuse me. Too much bacon this morning. <laughs> I grab whatever item I need to put up here and start cooking. If I need to get in the front of the stove, it's no problem. It's a little hot still. I can get in here and uh, work with the coals. I've got underneath the stove, I've got my little ash bucket here with a little garden spade. Works great. And then, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, all, it's all good. This is a really functional setup for me to, to operate out of. And uh, it's real nice in here. I mean, it's super comfy. This is basically, I'm not I'm not roughing it at all like you know I'll have people message me be like how's it going out there I'm like dude I'm taking naps during the day I'm going to the hot springs and you know this isn't tough um, the winter camping there's some more traditional winter camping out there where people will do like hip sleds and stuff like that and go um, hike into an area and that's that's pretty awesome that's hardcore it's just I don't I don't have the gear for that and the areas that I camp out of I mean, I guess you could do that around here, but just, there's so much more restrictions on the cutting of firewood for personal use. And there's permits that are required now and all these different things. So I like to just go to an area where I can get in, get out, you know, set up, do my stuff, operate, uh, be able to film a bunch for everybody, and then try to put up as much as possible. I, I'd like to post every day. I just don't have enough time. So um, let's see what else in here. I think that's pretty much it. I mean, other than just kind of hanging out and using this area here as like a stretching area, which is what I'll do. I'll pull my yoga mat here up and lay it out over on that side. And then I can stretch there. And then if I want to do any writing or anything like that, you know, this is a nice pad to sit on because it's Sierra's sleeping pad. And um, with the blanket on top of it, it's, you know, it's usually nice and clean. Uh, just underneath here real quick, I'll show you what I do to keep organized. Uh, over here, I've got 
this this body wash stuff i use this tea tree body wash this is the best stuff i've ever used in my life if you if you want insane body wash that makes your skin feel great this is this is awesome stuff um, then i'll have my my hand grinding uh, coffee bag here and this got my hand grinder in there and then also the aeropress and then a couple of different bags of coffee then i'll have my dirty clothes hamper right next to it and so i'll have my clean clothes sitting on top of it and then the dirty clothes inside the actual uh, the little hamper that I use is just a additional um, a pillow pillowcase, and then down over here, I've got a book that I'm going to start reading. It's called Sam Houston and the Alamo Avengers. It's about what happened after the Alamo and the Battle at Alamo. And then I've got my workout bands, a little back buddy, which this thing's awesome for. You can use it to like uh, as, uh, get leverage on your back and and work out any muscles or kinks in your back. And that's pretty much it. Um, the only thing that I'm doing now is that uh, that's kind of a little bit of a hiccup that I have at camp is unfortunately the Jackery 100 watt solar panel. I ran over it yesterday and I broke it. And so the solar panel is not working anymore. And so I'm using my truck, which I got it fixed. Ended up being, it ended up being an ignition coil error. Like I, I need to get that replaced. Then also cylinder number six wasn't firing properly. So I got all the hoses and or all the connectors and, and, uh, um, lines to that all replaced and it seems to be working fine now. So I'm running my inverter and I've got a you know a cord You can see it coming down off the back of my truck there I've got an extension cord that comes back from the inverter. I've got it snaking behind the the, the rounds that are cut up there and then it comes into The tent right here snakes back down and then that's what I can use to charge up the the Jackery battery which which keeps me going so um but anyway, that's camp. It's pretty. It's been great lately. Uh, the only thing is, is we're lacking in thunderstorm or or, or uh, snowstorms. So I'm still holding out hope there's going to be a good one that comes about and really really knocks you know two or three feet of snow on me. It's gonna like March March 15th ish. You know, depending on the weather, that's kind of when the bears start waking up. And I want to be out of this tent by then, just because with all the bacon that I cook in here, all the scents, the the food scents. I mean, I there's there's no way I'd stay in here after the bears start waking up. So uh, we'll have to figure that out and, and see what's shaking. And then, um, but yeah, this is this is the tour of how how I operate. You know, this is basically a week. Oh, I want to show you too all the food that I have in here. So let me open this up real quick. And I'll show you. Got some stuff on the top, which is just storage I need to take out. But, you know, this is the Dometic. This is the CFX28. Uh, Dometic fridge and I've got I've got plenty of food in here I've got enough food between those rations and this for a week And so I'm totally good to go and then I've got plenty of water because you know I've got the stream right next door, so it's great. I love being here This is a great campsite and I'll be sad to leave but my time is coming up here shortly and I need, I need to move on so uh, Thanks for tuning in if you got any questions hit me up in the comment section below and I hope you all have a good Saturday